Good morning, everybody. We thank God for another Friday and another social distancing meditation where we can come and share God's word with you. And uh, as we uh, this week, we are planning on uh, uh, doing a little Bible study with you. And uh, we're going to go on and, and detail a little bit the, the armors of God. And, and uh, so I pray that this will be a blessing to you. And uh and uh, let's uh, let's go right into the word. Open your Bible with me in Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to read verse 13. It goes as follows. For this reason, take up the full armor of God, so that you may be able to resist in the evil day. And having prepared everything, take your stand. So um, this is take your stand, part 2. This is the second part of our meditation from last week. Uh, so as the Apostle Paul is, is talking to us about, about uh, the full armor of God, so I, I just wanted to make sure that we understand or have a, 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 a some, some, some understanding of what it means to, uh, or each armor means and, and, and how you can use it in your lives. Um, so as we talked last week to take your stand and clothe ourselves daily with the, the full armor of God so that we may be able to face the attacks that are coming our way. Brothers and sisters, knowing that the attacks are coming, we need to be ready for the attacks. It's like this. If you are watching TV and they announce that you're going to have 12 feet of snow um, the next morning, I'm pretty sure uh, from, from the night before, once you know they announce it, you're going to start preparing. You're going to dress differently. You're going to get your boots out. You're not going to be wearing your dress shoes. And, and you, you're going to do certain things differently to prepare for the snow. Um, you know, myself living in New York for a lot of years, I remember when we when we hear that it's going to be that much snow, you know, most of us will, will throw a shovel in the back of the car because uh, because in New York, they don't have parking like we do here. And and you would you would need to dig yourself out of a parking space because of the snow. So you need to be prepared as much as we would prepare for these things that happen in, in daily in our lives. We need to be prepared for the attack of this enemy that is invisible, that's coming after us minute by minute, seconds by seconds. Um, and, uh, and, and you, you, so this morning, you, you know that attacks will be coming your way. So this morning you need to be prepared because because the attack that is coming it is it's not going to be a, a, a person that's going to come after you but it's it's all in the spiritual so we need to be we equip spiritually to fight those battles it, it needs to find when it comes our way it needs to find us ready you need to find us equipped with the full armor of god it needs to find us ready to face every single battle every single time in ephesians chapter 6 the apostle paul talk about about six pieces of armor which are divided into three categories and in three into three categories with three in each category the first three pieces of armor you need to have them on at all times and the next three you can take and use them as you need them see the the, the one you must have the first one that you must have at all time is the belt of truth you you should always have your belt on see truth is the belt that holds the believers armor together truth is the one that that is that is um there to help us so that we can we can we can keep ourselves ultimately see truth can be found in god's word and in the person of jesus christ now the next one is the breastplate of righteousness you always need to have the breastplate on. As believers, we have no righteousness apart from that which is given to us through Jesus Christ. Our breastplate 
is his righteousness. His righteousness will never fail us. Though we have no righteousness of our own, we must still, by his power, choose to do right. See, living a right life rooted in God's word is powerful in protecting our hearts, killing our flesh and defeating the enemy. The last piece is in this category is the shoes of peace. And, and, and you always need your shoes on. Believers also have a firm foundation in the gospel. See, as, as believers, we have peace in knowing we are secure in what Jesus did for us on Calvary. Notice how the apostle introduced the next group. He uses the word take which means that it's something that you grab as needed when you need to you when you need you will take the shield of faith and faith is the shield of the believer trusting in God's power and protection is imperative in remaining steadfast in the in, in the fight when the battle rages on we must remember that God works all things for good he is always true to his promise you will Take the helmet of salvation. See, the believer's helmet of salvation is the most crucial piece of armor for the for the Christian. Without the indwelling Holy Spirit that enters a believer at the moment of salvation, all the other armors are useless. Salvation empowers the empower the believer to fight. It protects us in our weaknesses. Without salvation, there, there is no victory. Just before I tell you uh, about the last one, let me ask you a question. What do you notice about the first five pieces of armor? They are all defensive armor. They are all there to protect protect yourself from being attacked. Now, the, the last one is, is the only offensive piece of armor that we have, and it is the sword of the spirit. Uh, our, our sword is the word of God, both, we, both the written and the incarnate word. Every other piece of armor protects us against attacks. With God's word, we are truly able to fight and defeat all our enemies. The soul of the spirit is the word of God. When we are tempted, the most effective weapon that God has given to us as believers is the word, is the sword of the spirit, which is his word. Jesus show us how to use the sword of the spirit when he was tempted in the in the wilderness after after fast after the fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. My brothers and sisters, we need to be students of God's word because the devil also knows the word. When he tried to attack Jesus with the word over and over, Jesus pulled out the sword of the spirit and spoke the word of God to Satan. In Luke 4, 1 to 13, you'll see the whole detail about that battle. Jesus responded, it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God only, him only will you serve. And again, Jesus brought the scripture back into context. He has been said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Christ used scripture to defeat Satan when he was tempted in the desert. We must do the same as his followers. The sword of the spirit is the biggest weapon that we have to attack the enemy when they come, when they comes when he comes after us that's why we need to know god's word for ourselves that this year i would implore each and every one of you in fact i want to challenge each and every one of you to make a plan to start training yourself for battle train yourselves on how to use the sword of the spirit and as much as we all know that god has a plan for our lives the devil also has a plan for each and every one of us and that's the reason why he keeps coming after us and he will not stop coming. So we need to be ready. We need to have our sword uh, nice and sharpened and ready. So the more you train yourself, the more ready you will be for battle. Some will even say this morning that there is a seventh armor and that is prayer. And we find that in Ephesians 6 verse 18, where it says, pray at all times in the spirit with every prayer and request and stay alert with all perseverance and, and intercession to, uh, all, for all the saints. Because in prayer, brothers and sisters, we show our reliance 
upon God to act and move on our behalf. Our entire armor is rooted in his strength. Without his presence, we are powerless to fight. We must fight on our knees. The one who has won the, the, the war is with us in the battle. He said he will never leave us. He'll never forsake us. So he is here with us, but we need to fight. We need to stand up and do our part. We will see a victory when we fight in God's power. As I bring this to a close this morning, God gives specific, specific instructions in his word. He give us all, the, what we, the, all that we need to take a stand in this constant battle that we face daily. Yet, we often find ourselves unequipped, unprepared, or simply not aware of what we're up against or who the real enemy even is. Let each of us remember this morning that the Lord, the Lord want us to take, take us, take a stand. But in order for us to do that, we will need to be equipped with the full armor of God so that we can take our stand daily and every minute against the enemy. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you this morning. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, Lord God. Thank you for your word. Thank you, oh God, that Lord, we 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 are learning that we need, oh God, to be equipped daily, oh God, with, oh God, the, the, the full armor, oh God, that you have provided for us, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to train ourselves, oh God, to be ready for battle because, oh God, we know the, the battle is not ours, but we are in the fight. So we know you won the victory, but there's a daily fight that we need to go through, Lord God. Be with us, oh God, today. And, and, oh God, in this weekend, Lord God, in the week coming, Lord God, we pray, oh God, that you will, oh God, bless us and keep us. We pray, oh God, for your protection. We pray, oh God, that you will keep all of us, oh God, in perfect peace in you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for another week. Thank, thank you for this medium, oh God, that we can use, oh God, to share God's word. Be with us, Lord, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. And, and if this was helpful to you, you feel blessed by it, please share it with someone that you know could use it. And, uh, and I thank God for each and every, every one of you that take the time to listen and, and watch this video every week. God bless you. Have a blessed and safe day and weekend. And I'll, uh, Catch up with you all next Friday. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord.